Today's deaths of U.S. service members in Kabul, the majority of whom were Marines, has been especially difficult for our strong military community here in San Diego. News 8's Richard Allen has more on that, as well as reaction from local congressional leaders. Richard? Well, that's right. A very grim day for all U.S. service members and their families as they await word on the identities of those service members killed today in Kabul, a tragedy that hits especially close to home for the thousands of Marines who serve here at Camp Pendleton and also MCRD San Diego. So I pray for all the families. Azura Richard dropping off flowers and paying her respects to those service members who gave their lives in Thursday's suicide bombing in Afghanistan. Her own nephew just retired from the Marines after 20 years. I feel for their families. It could have been my nephew. Our Marines know that they're going to continue to be at risk. Republican Congressman Daryl Issa says the likelihood is high that Thursday's loss of life will have ties to San Diego. There will be Marines who trained at MCRD. There will be Marines uh, who, uh, in fact, uh, came out of Pendleton at one point. Issa points out that as the U.S. works to get its service members out of Kabul by August 31st, that military intelligence had indicated that an attack like this was likely. There was never a question that it wasn't if, but when and how many times. And the same is still true. The threat is continuing to grow. Democratic Congressman Scott Peters called today's news devastating and the deaths of the service members senseless, adding that we cannot allow this to derail our mission, stressing that it's imperative to get all Americans and vulnerable Afghans out as carefully and quickly as possible. A sentiment echoed by Democratic Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs, who said that in response to this loss of life, the answer cannot be more war and violence. The answer cannot be launching more ineffective and unaccountable counterterrorism operations. We must resist the urge to let our pain dictate our policy. And in a statement from the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General David Berger says that as we mourn, we also keep those who are still over there protecting Americans and our Afghan partners at the forefront of our thoughts, adding that our Marines will continue the mission.